Hello and uh, welcome back to another video. As the title suggests, a gameplay of Downforce for the PlayStation 2, which I picked up from CEX yesterday um, for the paltry price of £1.50. Now, as you would expect, it's fully complete. Looking at the disc, it's probably got more scratches in the Grandmaster Flash Remix album. It's also a blue disc, but let's still put it in and uh, let's give this a go. So this is all on the fly and uh, there'll be some interruptions between, I'm sure. So while I set it up, let me just display this title screen. A completely different game. Wrong button. It's wound with a thousand other leads, but I think we're in a position to load the game. Ooh, PlayStation 2. Now I think what I haven't done is enable the four line mode, which I'll do now. I don't know what to expect on this one. It's a, I believe, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I, but from looking at it, it looks like a cell shaded F1 game. And I'm sure I remember when it came out, seeing reviews of it, probably in CMVG or something. And uh, it was that way indeed. Maybe it was the official PlayStation 2 magazine. Hard to tell. Florida. The Sunshine State. Nice. Now I may need to increase the volume levels. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Hydrogen. This is the future. Clean air engines. They're ahead of the time here. Eh? I think this was 2002. Audio level for some reason. That's the wrong button. Oh, a bit of a stutter coming on. Nice. Oh, I think it's crashed. Oh no. It seems to have crashed. I'm going to have to press start before now. So as you see, yeah, it's quality. <coughs> so it didn't look like it wanted cleaning, but. Like I say, look like the bottom of a 12 inch LP. The amount of lines on it, but we'll see, we'll see. God, I've put myself back on while all this is going on. I'm back again. Yes, I know, I'm wearing the fisherman's hat, and that would have been very appropriate for the next game I'll probably make a video about, but not this morning because uh, I've got many things to be getting on with. So let's try again, loading. Let's see how we go. See if we can get to the next stage. Also known as gameplay. There's a whole load of loading going on. Right, let's get to the cutscene and, and beyond. Let's be a smart dog. It'd be good karma. Forget Florida. We've pressed start. We've got through to the language selection. Uh, I don't. I quite. I might brush up on me Italian. Um, but for now, let's let's stick to the native. Check in for the memory card. She's there. Ooh, no downforce save data. Trophy. Do you want to play trophy? I didn't go anywhere else. Armando. He's a great racer. I'm going to confirm. It's got to be auto. Beginner? Okay. Just a straight, but get ready. What? The race is just a straight. What? What language are they talking here? 
Jibri. So here we go, I don't know if the volume might be a bit loud. I'm actually wearing headphones. Oh, what if it's got analog accelerate and brake? All this to discover. Well, it's definitely an F1 type game. It's definitely somewhat so shaded. And X is definitely to accelerate. So, wow. It's. Does this feel slow or what? Whoa. Okay, well, it didn't crash. God, my car feels like a right slug. What's going on? Unbelievable. I can't believe that. Surely that wasn't supposed to happen. Ooh, I'm not feeling the... Here's the whole thing. The reason it's called downforce is that... It's all about... The gravitational pull. So we are seem to handle it a bit better now. Now she's winding her up a bit. Come on. Let's see. Oh, hit the brakes. And, the, and, oh, and everything else. And a few wheels fell off there, so not bad. Still in ninth out of tenth. I think getting around the corners is one of the most important aspects of any racing game. Apart from Drag Race Championship 2003, a game that literally just stuck to the straight line racing we all know and love. Ooh, feel the downforce. There we go. Tight corners. Just have to check the screen then. I thought it could just be me still in the front of camera position wearing the woolly hat looking like I couldn't afford to put the heating on but you literally can't afford to put the heating on can you so Ooh, first place is right within reach I could smell him like I could the entrance to that CEX store where they sell the scratch discs. And when someone, what I noticed whilst I was in CEX was that when someone comes in and says, oh, I've got some stuff to sell, right, they're treated like the worst people in the shop. They're like, uh, I've seen it happen twice while I was in the queue. And they said, yeah, just wait over there. Someone will be with you, probably be about five minutes. Oh, wow. They really don't uh, offer them much respect. So, okay, we got it loaded. We got first place. Continue or race again. What do you mean? We won't want to race there again. That would make the video even worse than having to load the game twice. We've got a bit of music going on. I don't think we need to save game. I've not convinced yet that uh, it's a winner. Let's go Singapore. Might change my mind. Don't let the straight fool you. I was expecting a bit more. I was expecting a bit of chit chatter between the drivers. Maybe some anime cutscenes. Or, you know, I was, I was thinking it was going to be a bit more. an eastern tinge to it but we're not seeing it yet we're not seeing it yet hold tight get ready especially how over excited the announcer is there at the beginning you think something's really gonna happen I never did check if I had analog accelerate and brake. Oh, oh, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way as well. Doesn't have analog accelerate and brake. 
love it, love it, accelerate and break. One of the things I really enjoyed when uh, dual analogs came out. We've got to hope there's some hella elastic banding in this game. Well, what can I say about this game with an early impression in mind? It looks nice. It sounds okay. I just think it could have been more. I think if it just had a, a bit more put into it, this could have been an all-out classic. This could have revolutionised F1 racing games, but... Uh, Alas, although I've done no research, I don't know if Downforce was a Disney movie or, or what it was. It's more like a horror movie here, obviously. I've got to push it, you've got to, you're, not, you're right. Push it real good. The elastic banding is real, and that I can appreciate. Last lap, can he do anything? Can he pull a Lewis Hamilton out here and end up in the money? Let's see. Tried too hard. Got so far. In the end, it doesn't really matter. Ooh. Pushing, he's pushing. Someone said something then. That was a great run, well done. It's hard to tell actually how loud the music is and the capture because I'm wearing the headset. Oh, I didn't get third. No, you can hear it a little bit. You can hear the whine of the engine. Jackhammer, he smashed me up. Buzz, Vinny, Dimitri, Jürgen. Did we want to replay? Welcome to Singapore, full of skyscrapers and business areas. A short route that takes you through Pule and Sentosa. It's a lovely day for racing. Wow, they actually have a proper commentator. Unbelievable. I think we've been kicked out because of that. So will I return to Downforce? I don't know, maybe out of pure curiosity. But... Uh, I don't think it's a game that I'm going to pursue playing. Was it £1.50 of value? Uh, yeah, I guess you get what you pay for with this game. So let's... Oh, oh we're not, not available. Let's try Hong Kong. And then... Uh, probably call it a down downforce. But still, it was refreshing to see that you could still get, you know, PlayStation 2 games in a retail environment for £1.50. I mean, you can't buy much for £1.50 these days. And uh, we haven't bought much for £1.50 here either. So... But, you know, it's got that sort of... Uh, Techno-esque soundtrack that never really goes anywhere. Ooh, ooh. Great block, well done. Sorry, I couldn't hear myself over my own talking. But I realised they were being so complimentary. I might have been more favourable towards this game. What happened then? That sound. Wow, is that is that me or was that the game? <laughs> I think it just entered the Matrix. Yeah, that was mad. Oh, it's doing it again. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there's a delay on my voice. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's a delay on the audio as well.
How's the whole thing gone out of sync? Right. I'm going to have to call it a day. <laughs> it's all gone out of whack. It was when I entered the Matrix. We lost uh, two seconds. I'm actually in the future. I'll see this race through, but I uh, must, must apologise for the audio issues. Don't know what's going on. Ooh. It's kind of confusing, because it's almost like you think of what to say and then you hear it. <laughs> oh. Just a sad man laughing in a room on his own. Can he get first place in a game he'll probably never play again? Come on, first place. Let's see. It. Let's see what happens. Further delays if you get first. See you later, Jimmy. Oh my! Dangerous sliding. Pushing the downforce to the very limits. The left under Virgin Interactive. Getting plenty of advertising on that board there. This must be the finish line. We've made it. So that's it. Downforce. Uh, an unoffensive Formula One esque racing game with reasonable control, sound, and graphics. I give it a solid 7 out of 10. Goodbye and uh, thank you for watching.